Hey, what is up guys? So we do have video confirmation proof that the champion at YCS Prague did indeed cheat. Now, I'm not going to say that it was 100% on purpose that he did know that he was cheating. Sometimes things happen. It is a uh, misplay or technically an illegal play. Uh, but that said, uh, this footage is all brought to you guys by Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh. Technically, Konami owns the footage, but he spliced it up in an order which I really liked, and he already got his commentary on it. So I made sure it was okay that we are using his footage, but it's fine, because it's technically Konami's footage anyways. But I just wanted to make sure I wasn't being a slow flow Antonio. But uh, anyways, yeah, like I said, uh, this footage over here is going to show you guys all the examples. And again, shout out to Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh for bringing us this footage. But uh, again, I'm not saying the guy did cheat I'm on purpose. I'm just saying that he did cheat. It's a fact. Let's watch it on the video, and then we'll talk a little bit about it, because a lot of you guys wanted my opinion as well. But uh, let's go, boys. And if you guys want to sub to Glasgow, leave a link down below in the description box. He's a cool guy. Let's listen to his commentary. Hey, what's up? Uh, I've got a video here um, showcasing a couple of examples of the current YCS champion of Prague, uh, which just happened there at the weekend, um, on two different feature matches, um, doing... Um, I guess you could call them illegal plays on uh, three separate occasions. Um, so I don't want to uh, accuse anyone of anything, uh, but I do want to showcase this uh, and tell people about this because uh, I think it's only fair that you know people who may have been victim to this uh, see uh, firsthand uh, how these things can unfold um, for themselves. So um, we're going to begin with the, the finals here. Um, Marvin Weber versus uh, Urkovacic. Um, and Ur here uh, tries to normal summon twice uh, in the in the same turn, um, and yeah, I'll uh, elaborate as we uh, go on. I think he's gonna so, yeah basically he's summoning he's twice get knight, uh, right now and in uh, this, this particular duel over here summon to get lost uh, he normal summons the normal summon knight summon. get that warning man it's just a prank bro. So a lot of players, it's known in the competitive scene if you are a top player, right? A lot of these guys get banned and then they recome back and they get banned again. Um, you technically do a few moves and then you try to normal summon it. Again, I'm not saying he's doing it on purpose. It's just that he did happen to cheat. It's it's a fact that he he cheated. But on purpose, again, we don't know. Only Uruk can tell us. Uh, Uruk, if you're watching this, man, if you want to make a video where we can talk live, uh, I'd be more than happy to do that. There's his second okay, yeah, normal just, summon. Yeah, he can just synchro these guys. And then his opponent, the Marvin's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, it's just a prank, bro. And he's like, ah, oh, bring it back. Bring back. My bad, bro. My bad. So here we have um, the player uh, normal summoning twice in the, in the same turn uh, in the finals. Uh, and Marvin Weber instantly goes to his graveyard to, you know, check what's happened uh, this turn. Uh, realizes that his opponent has normal summoned twice, uh, and obviously, you know, tells him to take it back. Um, now, I asked um, uh, Marvin personally on Facebook uh, what the dialogue was in this situation. I asked him, uh, did did you tell him that uh, you normal summoned twice, or did he himself notice and take it back himself? Um, and of course, Marvin was the one who pointed that out. Uh, not the player, so I think it's um, I think it's uh, fair to say uh, that you know if if Ur uh, was capable of getting to this level of a YCS, uh, he probably would know these things. Um, but of course, you know these things happen. Uh, pendulum uh, decks are very um, combo based. Uh, these things can take ages to resolve. You can have a very long turn and stuff. So sometimes a normal summon can can be forgotten, uh, which is uh, which is fair enough. Uh, but uh, the issue here is that the, this this is actually not the only case where this happens. So uh, I feel that if if enough of these cases happen, then you know it it, it becomes a little bit suspicious. So uh, let's move on to the next clip. Yeah, three and three. Just so, it does once again, it's going to be one of those like okay, yeah, the double summon for free. Down. Yeah, but, so uh, he's a lot of pro players they'll three, misdirect you with card. cards in hand. Uh, can I see your graveyard? They do a lot of these things and then they'll get an additional normal summon. Again, I'm going to mention it several times, but I'm not saying he's trying to do it on purpose. It just happens. Uh, you know, sometimes I I've even normal summoned twice on Dueling Network. I've special summoned after Duality. Did I do it on purpose? No. Did he is he doing it on purpose? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but he is someone that is. A lot of people look at him at like a high, high competitive level of like skill, and they look at it as like if you're this good, you shouldn't be doing these things. Yeah, guys. If you've played Yu-Gi-Oh for like 30 hours in two days, <laughs> sometimes you forget about certain things. And that's where I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, or if you want to come talk on a, like a live stream or something, no problem. Well, where's the, oh, oh, the double summon for free. You don't even... Oh, uh, sight, it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. It's not working because second donkey already. So here in this scenario, um, 
again in a, a previous matchup in round eight and a future match against Jerry. Um, there is an attempt of a normal summon twice again, and you know I, I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but it's it's a little bit suspicious that this is becoming a bit of a regular occurrence. You know, um, I feel like uh, doing the same play twice in two different matches live on stream, uh, it's 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 a little bit suspicious. Um, you know, but uh, as as usual, you know, I'm going to I'm going to remain objective and. Uh, I'll I'll just move on to the next clip, and you know you can judge this uh, for yourself. So, and so here in this clip, um, in the same matchup against Jerry in round eight, uh, Ori here is attempting to conduct a synchro summon, and I just want to establish with this clip and show you guys that you know Ori knows how to synchro summon a monster. Uh, he puts the non pendulum monster into the graveyard. And he synchro summons with the extra deck monster, but sorry, with the pendulum monster, and sends it to the extra deck. So I just want to establish that this player knows exactly like how to perform a synchro summon with a pendulum material monster. Which feature match of round seven when Ali uh, Like he mentioned, he's just showing you that so the pendulum monster is going to the extra deck. He, he when was he really summons. making that's, use that's of all we're establishing right now. With Swiss this. He knows how pendulums work when you synchro. Yeah. basically what it comes Okay, down. so this is uh, game one and. I know this seems very tedious and trivial, but I just want to establish that Ur knows how to perform a synchro summon correctly with an extra deck monster, um, sending the uh, pendulum monster to the extra deck and the mask chameleon to the graveyard. Back the pendulum sorcerer. No, no. Soul charge. Soul charge. Too, so he's going to soul charge the. <laughs> yeah, he's got like sorcerer. 15 options, it yeah. seems. There's more than seven ways to Sunday right now. Also, bring this attention to Konami. If you, Ooh, if here we go. This. That's I mean, I a guys. really good card uh, against Monarchs. You know, I have judges to watch Okay, this, so now the trivial clip by. of Or conducting a Synchro Summon with a Pendulum Monster uh, was for not, not for no reason. Um, as you can see here, um, Or uh, Synchro Summons with Palomoro and Pendulum Sorcerer. However, this time, the Pendulum Sorcerer or the Pendulum Monster, Synchro Material Monster, is not put to the extra deck. This time, Or puts it in the graveyard. And why does he put it in the graveyard? Well, that's actually for maybe coincidence. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is coincidence. Um, there's a reason why the Performer Pal Sorcerer needs to be in the graveyard for Or's turn. Well, a little bit disappointed it's not dual terminal, but you know, we can't have it all. <laughs> Here we go. So there's, there's instant fusion activated. Yeah, but wait, there's more. Yeah. But wait, Sorcerer is going to go to the extra deck. Um, Keep but going. he put it See, back in the graveyard right now, so he this, can this instant fusion and have a target. Quite honestly, I would hate out. to be Cherry in this situation. <laughs> there is the, the, the move. Yeah. 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 Honestly, yeah. Pretty, he pretty fought good, so hard you know? for the first match to spend like Super 30 average. minutes. And that's why he needed a level 4 monster in the graveyard. Now, we saw with the clip before, or knows how to synchro summon correctly with a pendulum monster. He puts the master pendulum in the extra deck, but in this case, in this scenario, when he coincidentally so happens to have instant fusion in his hand he needs a level 4 target in his graveyard and the only way he can do this is if he synchro uh, if he synchro summons with performer pal sorcerer and puts it in the graveyard instead of the extra deck now um all of these things each individual case can more than easily be considered you know an innocent mistake uh an illegal action done unintentionally you know that's fair enough but i feel like because of the fact that it, these all were done multiple times over the course of an event, especially in this case because the only out that a Monarch player has to Nat Beast would be Eidos and Idea, and of course, Rafflesia just so happens to coincidentally deal with the only out to his Nat Beast. Um, I just feel like there's way too much evidence at hand here, uh, and you know, this really mounts up all together, these different examples, and creates a very, very suspicious case, so you know, I don't want to say that you know, this was maliciously done, but you know I feel like, especially with the last example, is probably the strongest point of evidence. And yeah, I feel like you know these things just don't happen by accident. But anyway, as always, uh, let me know what you think uh, down below. Um, comment, like, subscribe as usual, uh, and I shall see you next time. All right. So shout outs again to Glasgow. I'll put all of his links down below in the description box if you guys want to follow him. Really appreciate it, man. Uh, you uh, letting me use that footage. Like I said, even though it's Konami's, technically, uh, I mean this is fall falling under fair use, anyways, because uh, it's we're we're basically criticizing what's going on in the game. So now I want to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on it. So 
Like I said, I'm not saying 100% he's doing it on purpose. It is 100% confirmed that he did cheat and he did try to cheat multiple times. Uh, granted, his opponent did get caught. Urk, if you want to tell us, I don't think anyone would have the right mindset to be like, yeah, I'm going to tell him I cheated on purpose. But some players, there is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro that has top that he even, even himself admitted to cheating uh, to win. And he said all pro players do it. So it's it's a known fact that a lot of pro players cheat in Yu-Gi-Oh! And unfortunately, sometimes things go blind. I don't know if you guys remember the time where uh, Jarrell uh, OTK'd his opponent. And his opponent continued to play, and his opponent was declared the victor. Uh, things happen like that. Sometimes, uh, you know, you know, you're too caught up in the game. That's really what I'm trying to emphasize on, is that players get too caught up in the game, and they don't realize that they've already normal summoned. They can't special summon. They can't synchro with this because it's not an earth or a wind, water, fire, earth, cap, and planet. But uh, what it comes down to is, uh, I think that uh, I want to bring this attention to Konami. Maybe. Um, somehow, I, I don't know if this is like a viable idea, but maybe make a program that could like, uh, like understand what each card did. I don't know if you guys played Poke, uh, not Pokemon. Well, Pokemon actually had that. There were these e-reader cards. Maybe a camera can e-reader the card, and then this way for these huge tournaments, this kind of stuff can be completely avoided. Or maybe for these huge tournaments, people play online on a you know application like DevPro or a new thing because the cheating was so evident and it was abundant. Not not just around. It, it, a lot of people cheated during with YCS Prague. A lot of people cheated in general at a lot of YCSs, and this is unfortunate that it happens. But you know uh, we need to do something about it. So uh, I'm thinking that. You know, in the future, hopefully, uh, maybe if someone tries to do an illegal move, they would be considered uh, someone with a game loss. That way, if you try to do something that you cannot do, and he did it multiple times. Again, not saying that it was 100% confirmed that it was malicious and he did try to cheat to win, uh, but he did win and he did cheat. And there's video confirmation of that, but er, if you want to uh, rebuttal and kind of talk about it, I'm more than happy to talk about it with you guys. But anyways, let me know, guys, your thoughts in the comment section below. And then, again, big shout out to... Uh, the Glasgow for uh, hooking up me with the video. Well, he said it was okay. I could use the video footage when it came down. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys give your support by giving that like button a titty slap. And it's been your boy Will Smith. Signing out.